Well, the ingredients are all laid out, but we can't seem to find the chef. Oh, here he comes. <laughs> Excuse me. Chef Flynn. Two sets of hands. Fire four duck, two VIP. And get my mother out of the dining room. I'm sort of a player in this film about my strange son who figured out his life so early. I need your blowtorch. This is wonderful. You hear what I said? Yes. I just try and make sense of how this happened. I hated having to be at school eight hours a day. I would just be drawing dishes, not really focused on what I was doing there. And I asked my mom, can I be homeschooled? Welcome to my bedroom slash workspace. My sous vide supreme juicer and my MacBook, which should go away. It was mostly friends in the beginning. Welcome to Eureka. Friends of friends, and then friends of friends of friends. It just kept growing. This is a deconstructed Caesar salad. On top is a Parmesan jelly. We have a writer from the New York Times coming. They told us you need to be prepared for what's going to happen with this. Did you get it? That's so cool. Gary's story reflects many of our prevailing pop culture obsessions. Grocious kids, super parenting. Okay, fine. <laughs> Every time something comes out on me, they rub some people in the wrong way. That chef smashing you or whatever? Uh-huh. That's ridiculous. None of the press I've asked for. At what age do you think you're going to become a regular chef? I think I'm nearing that point. He wants to be taken seriously. This pressure is part of this business. I need one more set of hands. I need hands! He wants the top of the game, and that's fine dining. I don't think any of this would have happened if I had a very traditional mom. There's a huge part of it that's just letting me do my own thing. At what age do you think you're going to start looking like an adult? Some might say I'll be a boy forever. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just have a uh, No, this is apple cider. I know, I, I know.